Kristen Woodson here, Customer Success Manager with Dataset. This is the fourth video in our Dashboard Overview series. In this video, we're going to take a look at Dashboard tabs. Tabs are a fantastic way to organize your dashboards. I'm going to click on my dashboards here, and you can see in my dashboard menu, I have several dashboards starting with KW, in previous videos, we focused on our web traffic dashboard. And also prior to this, I had created a web server dashboard. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our web traffic dashboard. We're going to add a tab called web server, and then I'll walk you through how to go in and add the same web server data into your web traffic dashboard so that you can seamlessly click between the two. So we're going to choose our web traffic. Now the first thing we want to do here is we're going to go in and add a tab. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and click on add tabs. I'm going to name the first tab web traffic and the second tab web server and click on save. Now you'll notice I now have a web server tab as well. When I click on it, for the moment it's blank, but I'll walk you through in a minute how we can go in and then just add in those web, that web server information. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just go in and click on the plus sign, and I'm gonna add a graph. The title for the moment doesn't matter because we will be replacing this. I'm also gonna click on add plot to add a plot and just click okay. So right now, again, this information here is not really relevant. So what we want to do is we're going to go into the web server dashboard. And what I want to do is copy my first graph here. So I'm going to click on edit JSON. And here's where I can go in and just edit or copy the details, I should say. Now, if we go back into our web traffic dashboard, what we can do here is again, click on edit JSON and click OK. And we have our non 200 responses graph carried over from that web server page. So this is a great way to do it if you just want to copy one graph over. Now, if you wanted to then additionally just copy the entire page, I always like to add one graph first. It just helps me a little bit in finding my place in the JSON. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute here. But let's take a look at our web server again. Instead of editing the JSON on the graph, I'm going to go in and edit the JSON on the entire dashboard. I'm going to copy all of my information here. And now let's go back into our web traffic dashboard. And our web server. And we're going to edit the JSON again for the entire dashboard. And you'll notice because we've added tabs, we also now have in tabs web traffic. As I scroll down a little bit, I have my tabs web server. So what I want to do is I'm going to add the information from my web server page under the web server tab. You do want to be careful that we keep this config type tab end here. So I'm just going to add this in. I can click on the pretty print and that will show me that my file is formatted properly. If there's an error, you would see an error here. I'm going to hit on save file and view dashboard. So now that we've got back to our dashboard, we can click on our web server. And you'll notice that we have our web server. We've got all of the graphs copied and pasted. So again, I can just seamlessly click in between my tabs. And this is really helpful as well if you have one big dashboard. If you separate that dashboard into separate tabs, it will also help load the graphs a little bit faster. And another thing just to note is you can have up to 10 separate tabs. 
You can also move graphs in between tabs. So if we wanted to move our web traffic into our web server tab, I can just click on move to tab web server. And if we go to web server, we'll then see our web traffic tab. Now I'm just going to move this back because I do want this in my web traffic page, but I did want to show you that. And you can always go in and edit the tabs by clicking on edit tabs. If you wanted to add further tabs or go in and delete a tab, you do want to just be cautious when you're deleting the um, information, you may go in and end up deleting the entire um, web page. So if we wanted to delete web server, that will just delete web server, but it does remove that tab completely. All right, hit close here. The other thing I can do is instead of having it be my web traffic dashboard, I'm now just going to update this to KW web dashboards. And that way now when I go into my dashboard menu, instead of having to select each one separately, again, I can just click on KW web dashboards and easily jump in between my different tabs. And that completes our dashboard tabs overview video. Feel free to join us in the next video where we talk about adding filters to your dashboards.